quick pro tip to track mobile apps in Google Analytics, you can create its own separate view. Mobile apps and web properties can be tracked together in the same Google Analytics property, but by having a separate view just for mobile apps, you can see special mobile app specific reports, metrics, and dashboards created specifically just for mobile app data. Setting this up is super easy, but it is something to keep in mind. When you set up a view, you can either copy in a pre-existing view or create a new view here in this option. For mobile app view specifically, you need to create the new view uh, or click this option here. And this is because this gives you a toggle between website data or mobile app data. By toggling mobile app data here, the view will become special, meaning having special or specific mobile app only reports, dashboards, and metrics. So just to show you a quick example, we can create this view here in this test property. And once it's complete setting up, I'll go to the reporting and show you some of the specific reports. Now there won't be any data in this particular example or this quick demo and pro tip, uh, but I do want to show it to you. There's one other thing to keep in mind when you're setting up mobile app specific views. Just creating the view itself will allow you to see the reports and dashboards and metrics for mobile app data specifically, but you still may want to include or you still want to include the filter to only allow mobile application data to appear in this view. Otherwise, you may have some desktop or measurement protocol data show up in your mobile app only view, even though the reports are still designed for mobile app only data. So it looks like this just finished loading up. So I'll hop over to the reporting here. I won't go into each and every one because you'll see the basic setup is essentially the same, but there's an app overview automatic dashboard now created that will give you app specific metrics, data, and visuals different than uh, regular web views. You'll also see different metrics like screens, uh, in-app revenue, or active user metrics. These are all app specific metrics only in app specific views. Um, besides that though, everything else is pretty much the same. There's a few additional reports like lifetime value, that's an app only at the moment, uh, report or app only view report. Um, active users, that's only for apps. And then there's other special reports as well that uh, you can explore. Now going back to my previous point, one thing to make sure you don't forget when you create a mobile app only view in Google Analytics is to ensure you have a filter set up just to track uh, mobile app data only. So in this case, I'll just say include only mobile application data. And if you click on custom, include, you can search for application option here, just application question mark, meaning is it an application or is it not? And you'll see there's other mobile application dimensions that you can use like what ID, the name or version. If you're testing out different versions and you want specific views as you roll out new releases of your mobile application. But to get all of your applications together, you can do the application dimension option here. It defaults to yes. Make sure it's include only. Click save and now only mobile application data will flow into this particular view. Again, because Google Analytics can track mobile app data and web data together in the same property, at the view level is where you can filter it out uh, to split up that data or segment it out. Now, one last thing I want to say as a pro tip is you can add additional filters after this first filter to split up Android, iOS, and other operating systems as you choose. Hopefully this was helpful and a quick tip on mobile app analytics. Happy analyzing!